Hello YouTube, this is Stefan from Rip City Base Works. In this video I'll show you how to root the LG V30 US998. Beware, this process will wipe your entire device, so make sure to make a backup before continuing. Uh, first off, as per usual, you're going to want to extract all files. Next, you're going to want to install the uh, LG Mobile Driver. Once that is installed, you're going to want to open the LG UP folder and install LG UP Store Framework 1.14.3. For this process, you're also going to need a micro SD card, so make sure you have one and you have one uh, and you have it plugged into your computer, either with a USB adapter or just directly into the micro SD slot. Once this uh, driver is installed, do not open it as uh, we will do that later using set dev. Now you're going to want to go to the uh, SD card folder and you're going to want to copy a uh, few files over, specifically the uh, US 998-830B and the uh, Magisk 20.2. As for Magisk, uh, just install this one for now. You can upgrade later after the root process is complete. Next, you're going to want to eject the micro SD card and insert it back into the LG V30. After that, you will want to completely power off the device. Now, it doesn't matter if you set it up or not, just completely power it off. And then after that, we will be going into download mode in order to uh, downgrade the device back to NuGet. The, late, the last version that uh, allowed us to flash TWRP, which will allow us to in turn flash Magisk to root the device. So to get into download mode, you're going to want to hold volume up and insert the USB cable at the same time. Make sure the other end of the USB cable is plugged into the computer and hold the volume up button and it should boot right into download mode. And now back to Windows. So now you're going to want to go to the LG UP folder and you're going to run uh, set dev as administrator. This will open LG UP of the dev options and allow us to flash NuGet. So once this opens up, you're going to want to choose the file. So go to the directory where you downloaded the file linked in the description and extracted it and choose the US 998-820B version. And now make sure you have refurbished selected and hit start. This process takes a while, so just be patient and wait for it to fully reboot. And now while, this pro while you're waiting for uh, this process to complete, we can go to the platform tools folder and prepare for the next step. So open a, just search CMD under Windows and it'll open a command prompt. And then CD and then the directory that you're in, you can copy the directory by going to it, uh, hitting control C and then write CD on command prompt and right click to uh, paste it. And now you'll be in the platform tools directory so we'll be able to do uh, the platform tools, the uh, ADB and fastboot commands. So unfortunately you're going to have to set up the device in order for it to do the next couple steps. So just go through the process. Um, we're going to be a uh, factory setting again so it doesn't matter if you do stuff as you normally do or not, just do it in the quickest way possible. And then when you finish setting up the device, uh, choose Use for File Transfer. And then you're going to want to in enable developer options by first going to List View because the tab view is annoying. Um, go to About Phone uh, and hit the build number five times. Now go to Developer Options. Now enable OEM unlock and enable USB debugging. So now go to the uh, platform tools command prompt and make sure to hit yes to the prompt that pops up on the phone. 
and then choose ADB Reboot Bootloader. This will boot us in the bootloader mode and will allow us to flash the unlock key. Now you're going to want to uh, check the unlock status, make sure it's actually locked. So fastboot get var unlocked, it's not unlock, it's unlocked, U-N-L-O-C-K-E-D. So I made that mistake, don't make that mistake, or it doesn't really matter, it doesn't do anything, it's just found, not found. So get var unlocked. So now since it's no, we can uh, unlock it. So fastboot flash unlock and then new underscore unlock dot bin and make sure that's written directly as I wrote it don't change anything and then you can verify by fastboot get bar get var unlocked again and it should say yes this time so then you're gonna want to do fastboot reboot so now unplug the USB cable and completely power off. So now we're going to be booting straight into bootloader mode without having to set up again. So hold the volume down button this time and plug the USB cable back in. This will boot us straight into the bootloader. So now back to the uh, command prompt, we can now flash TWRP. Fastboot, flash, recovery, TWRP.IMG. And then this is important, if you don't do this, it won't, you won't be able to actually boot the recovery, so fastboot, boot, TWRP.IMG. So now this should boot directly into TWRP. Now this next step is important also, this is where we wipe the entire device. So you're going to definitely want to swipe to allow modifications to the system. So again, swipe to allow. Now you're going to want to go to wipe and you're going to do the standard factory reset and now go back and now you're going to want to format data and type in yes. Now go back again, go back yet again, and then advanced wipe and then you're going to want to do data and internal storage, swipe, and now you're going to want to reboot the recovery Make sure to hit recovery. And now we're going to be doing this process again, and there shouldn't be any errors this time. There should be no red on the screen at all when you do the wipe. So you should do factory reset, and then format data, yes again. See how there are no errors, that is what we want. So now we can install. So we're going to want to install. So go to the SD card first of all. Select storage, micro SD card. And we're going to want to choose the uh, US998 zip. And this will install the actual uh, stock LG ROM. And this will be the latest uh, Pi. Now, when that's done, we can finally install Magisk. Swipe to install. Now wipe the cache as per usual, and then we can reboot system. This might take a while also, so I have it sped up. Now we're done, so the rest of the video is just me verifying that we are rooted and that we're running the latest Pi firmware. So you can set up normally.
Okay, now we're finally at the part. So Magisk is installed and it is working and it does pass safety net. So you'll see the safety net check momentarily. It also passes safety net if you upgrade Magisk. So I actually recommend upgrading Magisk. Uh, if it's available, just hit install for both the Magisk, the manager and the actual module. Now I'm showing that it is indeed running the latest version of it. Well, the latest official uh, LG ROM, Android Pie. And I doubt this device will be getting Android 10, so that's about it for the video. Thank you for watching.